Yeah, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm Jacoby Jackson. I want to teach you how to rewire FL in a Cubase to create a beat. So, just like we learned in our last lecture on the beginners on how to open a new project, this time is how do you rewire FL to make or rather to create a beat using Cubase. So that's what I want to teach you now. Please make sure you subscribe to Music Production Guide, like and comment for more updates. Uh, yeah, welcome back to another lecture. We finished up the beginner class on music production. So right by now, I want to teach you how to rewire FL on Cubase to create your beat. So you learned in our previous lecture how to set up a new folder like this so the next thing you have to learn now in this lecture is how do you rewire fl in a cubase to make a beat now you have set up this this way the first thing you have to do is to add your vsc instrument what is vs instrument yes instrument is an an instrument in which uh, you use in a support with a Cubase to make your sounds, either samples or whatever sounds you want to make. So right now, you have opened your Cubase, then you go over to the top tab, you see where they wrote devices, devices. You click on the devices, you come down to VSC instrument. Or some people use a shortcut on your keyboard, key, keypad, F11, but since um, I'm describing, I use a device down to VSC instrument, now I click, you see, you have display VSC instrument, you have channel 1, 2, 3, and 4, so many, so many down, <clears throat> so what you do now is, you add up your FL here. How do you do it? Just click on the VSC instrument. Although I have so many VSC instruments, but I uninstalled some of them, so I just kept this for some reasons. But now we search on the FL, FL Studio VST. I choose to use FL VST, not the multitude, but on the VST. So I click on the FL, it will load, it will take some time, but about 5 seconds or so to load, depending on how speed your system is. Then what you do is, you create, you do now write create, MIDI track, you see? It's a automatically created a MIDI track. Now you close your FL, then you close your VS instrument, you see? Now what else do you do? You know, look at this critical well, you see at the, on the left side of it, you see where the roots, all MIDI input down, you see FL, you see the channel, you see the output, you see the uh, input, you see the channel, you see the edit instrument. So here, button is an edit instrument. You click on the edit instrument, you now, this place that is circled, you enter into this FL, you click it, you see, once you click it, FL automatically brings out its own template you know its own template although this is not what you want to use to program your beat so what do you do to remove it you have to go to the file on the fl you see new you see new from template that second new from template you go to minimal you see basic with limiter basic club basic with limiter you go down to 
empty because you want to empty the channels on the FL so that it will give room for you to add your own samples to create your own beat. Do you understand? So now I'm clicking on the empty. You see, automatically the old template that came with the FL has been gone, or rather has gone. Sorry. So now you have displayed a new template for yourself. The question is, how do you add? How do you add your samples? How do you add your samples to the FL? Over here, you have so many samples. Like I go to Jackabit samples, although I will still teach you how to add samples on FL. But now, for the sake of this lecture, you go to Jackabit samples. FL do have their own packs, samples, just like drum kicks and so many of them. But I have additional samples which I added on my FL. So I go to my samples and I, I'm kind of comfortable at using, although all the samples are okay, but based on what I want to show you, I'm using a particular sample. So on this sample you see Fun use clap and snare. See, let me play the clap. You see, so you start playing on those samples and select the ones you want. You see, so if actually this is what you want to use for your snare or your clap or your samples, what you do is you do right click go to open a new channel or rather you drag it down to the first one yeah so once you do open a new channel or you drag either you do open a new channel or you drag so you see you have added you have added a sample first so you close up your FL close up your FL then close up this one automatically you have wired you have rewired your FL so once you touch your keyboard you see it will start showing for the few days see so from there you can now do whatever you want to do on your beat thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to music production guide thank you